we're also in a moment of some urgency. And let me just be uh, quite candid with each and every one of you. We've got to increase the pace and distribution in the administration of these vaccines. The reality is we need to get these vaccines out of the freezer and we need to get them into people's arms. We need to make sure, as the president said, uh, we need to do that with a lens of equity. Absolutely, not rhetorically. We need to commit and we need to be resolved in that effort. But we should not use that as an excuse not to move deliberatively uh, and move at the speed that this state and our nation deserves. At the end of the day, we continue to battle this remarkable moment in this surge, the most difficult and challenging surge we have faced since the beginning of this pandemic. But now, more than ever, it's incumbent upon us not to let our guard down, not to let our masks off, and to make sure that we're doing everything in our power uh, to maintain that discipline, that purposefulness, uh, to work our way through yet another surge. And so we're here, mindful of that, sober, the reality that we face and the challenges that we face as a state and a nation. Dodger Stadium is joining many other mass vaccination sites all throughout the state of California. I was up at Cal Expo in Sacramento yesterday, much smaller site, but with a same and similar mindset of throughput and moving these and moving these and administering these vaccines and moving uh, these vaccines out of the freezer and getting them into people's arms. We're seated down at Petco Park and the Padres uh, joining this same effort. We're seeing it in the Central Valley in Fresno uh, at other fairground sites uh, in the central part of our state, up in San Mateo uh, at uh, a number of different facilities. And we are working with other major league teams as well as minor league teams to open up similar sites as well all throughout the state of California. So you should be seeing more of this. It's not exclusively what we're doing, it's just additive. To date, 1.188 million doses have been administered. To date, 1.188 million doses have been administered. Uh, we are on pace to exceed our 1 million goal in 10 days. We'll update you more on that uh, when the dust settles on our data collection. I want folks to be mindful that the numbers that are often published and are out there are days old as so many providers are submitting their information, providing that information, and ultimately that information is provided to the federal government. We're looking to fast track that with better urgency, there's more transparency in terms of where we are, but we recognize more transparency and more application is the call.